Hey, what's up? So I've got a model for thinking about work in AI, and specifically it's a maturity model for thinking about how much work is done by humans versus AI over time. It's got five levels, it's zero through four, and it is natural chatbots, agentic workflows and managed. So level zero is pre-AI. This is not really using AI at all. And this is how the world was before the end of 2022 when ChatGPT came out. Level one is the first AI enabled level. This is the chatbot level. So here you have the ability to ask pretty difficult questions and get back something really useful, but then you still have to actually do something with it, right? It wasn't able to do anything with the result. This is me asking ChatGPT about the ideal sleeping temperature and it comes back with some results, and then I can choose to do something with that manually or not. Level two is the one that we're currently going into. It started in 2025. We're currently, you know, kind of at the beginnings of this. This is the last level, I think, that is going to be heavily human focused. And here you ask a question, just like in the previous phase in chatbots, you ask a question in, except for now you have a whole bunch of context about how to properly answer the question, how to properly take action, actually. That's the difference between the primary difference between agentic versus chatbots is actions. We now have these agents that can understand the work using all this context and actually go and do things with it, right? So I'm going to show you how I use my personal agentic system and my digital assistant to wield it, whose name is Kai. And here's Kai doing research for me. Orchestrating focused OSINT tool taxonomy research professional with Gemini OSINT investigation workflow. Research and research and research and and research and research and research and is me researching some OSINT tools using my research skill, which kicks off Claude Researcher, Gemini Researcher, Grok Researcher, and I think a Claude Researcher as well. So it kicks off the agents to go and do that work using my main agent, which is Kai, my digital assistant. So Kai goes and launches those using the research skill. And we got visualization using this tool here. And by the way, hat tip to Indie Dev Dan for the original idea. Research complete on social media. OSINT tools found comprehensive platform specific tools and automation techniques. And all these voices are actually coming through Eleven Labs, and they're all customized for each individual agent. So I can hear them update me. And they're updating me, telling me exactly what they've done. So it's not just like task Analyzed complete. Analyzed professional OSINT platforms and identified key enterprise grade differentiators. So that's how I visualize work with Kai and showing visually Research what the complete agents are actually OSINT doing. OSINT framework, technical See infrastructure, in found comprehensive architectural details on Maltego, Reconning. So that is extraordinarily powerful in terms of magnifying an individual's work. But at this stage, I'm still entering things in, right? And the AI is doing a lot of the work for me, but I'm still kind of at the center of that. Level three is AI workflows. So this is where all the different tasks and skills that we have that an agent system might run from the previous phase, they're turned into workflows throughout an organization, right? There are permanent sort of flows that are the business processes and they're always running. So I talked about this last year where I said work is going to be broken down into these little pieces like you see in this diagram here. And you can then tell, right, the AI can then tell by looking at what everyone is doing, which is likely going to be from, you know, interviews and like some company like McKinsey comes in and they take a look at the whole company and they turn it basically into workflows like this. And then they identify where are the humans who are doing some sort of intelligent work, right? They have to make decisions, they have judgment or whatever. And they say, okay, where can we swap AI in for that, right? And what we're talking about here is basically work replacement, right? This is what this looks like. That's kind of the phase here in the workflow phase where what we do day to day inside of a business, inside of really anything is broken down into these workflows. So eventually all of our work from an individual level, like a team level department, the company itself starts to look like this, it starts to look like a bunch of these different things connected together like Lego blocks. And it turns into a set of these workflows that AI understands and more importantly can actually execute. And that's pipelines, which is level three. So level four is the managed level. And it's quite advanced. It sounds a little sci-fi, but it's actually relatively simple. It's extraordinarily impossible to do right now. <laughs> this is very much a future thing. And by the way, talking about the phases, chatbots was essentially 23 to 25. Agentic is starting now in 25. 
And I would guess that workflows, some people are already starting, but I would say workflows are going to start happening 26, 27. And who knows about managed? Maybe there's a few companies who are already starting to get there. I wouldn't be surprised if Google was already doing some stuff at level four. But level four is where you can basically have what you have from level three. So you have your workflows there. So AI can now see the company working by looking at these workflows, seeing how tasks flow from being ingested, being requested, and move through the system. And they get processed, there's errors, the errors are handled. Like it could just see the flows of the business, right? So level four is looking at level three and saying, okay, now I want to ask a simple three-part question. What is our current state of this company? What is our desired state? And how do we transition from one to the other? So now imagine like millions of miniature agents, maybe it's billions, maybe it's, it's going to start with hundreds or thousands, right? And they're all inside of a company or a department. They're watching the logs, they're watching Slack, they're watching all the different documents that are being made or whatever. And this is for whatever size the entity is. Like if you're running an ice cream truck business, or if it's like a United Federation of Planets, either way, the agents are gathering the current state, right? So they are understanding what the current state is, the desired state, and then they're performing analysis on what are all the small changes that will be required to transition from the current to desired. And then they continuously make the changes to go to that desired state. And there may be more advanced uses of AI, but I think in the general sense, I, I can't think of something more advanced than understanding current and desired state and transitioning between them. I, I think it's an extremely powerful idea. So there may be a more advanced use of AI that I can't think of, but to me, kind of the pinnacle in a general sense is the ability to understand the world as it is right now, the world that we're trying to make, that we want to bring about, and the management of the transition, right? The actual taking of action to enable that transition. That to me seems like one of the ultimate use cases, if not the ultimate use case for AI. And that's why it's level four, which is called managed. So the levels again, natural chatbots, agentic workflows and managed. So my recommendation for you is to move as fast as possible to get yourself and the people you care about and the people in your company to level two, okay? Start building yourself an agentic platform like Kai is for me. As an org, get all your people on it as well. This magnifies all of your employees. It, it truly does. So I use Cloud Code. That is what Kai sits inside of. But there's also an open code project, which is essentially the same as Cloud Code, but it's completely open source. I also have an open source version of Kai, which is released on GitHub for free. I've got agents in there. I've got skills. I've got a whole core routing system. I've got the voice system that you heard. I've got the visual server that you saw. It's all in there and it's all available for free. And the idea is when I make an improvement to mine, I'm going to try to keep Pi updated. Personal AI infrastructure is the name of the project. Happens to rhyme with Kai. That was just a coincidence. But the idea is for you to use a system like this, get your context in there. It could be local only. It could be Google. It could be open AI. It could be Anthropic like I use, it doesn't really matter. The idea is to be able to use this free open source project and bootstrap yourself, bootstrap your capabilities in here to magnify yourself. So the most important thing that you want to do in here is you got to get your knowledge into it. You got to get your context into it. And you have to also define what you're trying to do. Turn it into your tutor, turn it into your teacher and basically describe your goals and get your context in here, which will make it far more powerful, regardless of what type of functionality you add, right? The more context it understands, the more it understands your goals and what you're actually trying to accomplish, the better and more powerful it's going to be. And lastly, and most importantly, Realize that your competition, if you're in cybersecurity, then these would be your attackers, right? They are racing along the same maturity model. If you're in business, these are your competitors that you need to worry about, right? They are on the same maturity model. And what you have to watch for is this dark sort of danger arrow up here. This danger arrow is basically the gap between you and them on this maturity model. They are racing you on this scale. Your competition is somewhere here, right? All your different competitors, all your different attackers are somewhere on this scale. The question is, where are you relative to them? Because the larger that gap is, the more concerned you should be. Like attackers have been at level one with chatbots 
pretty much ever since it came out in early 2023. Many attackers are at level two now. In fact, a report just came out from Anthropic talking about how different Chinese actors are actually using this to attack cybersecurity wise, and they're being very, very effective. And that's at level two. You start moving into level three, especially if you're only at level one or just starting level two and they're already moving into level three, the bigger that gap is, the more concerned you should be. So we just have to get as quickly as possible to level two and start thinking about level three, if not start planning already. So things are absolutely insane right now. I think we're living in the greatest moment of human change in probably thousands of years because of how this is going to affect human labor. And I really hope the stuff that I've shared today is going to help you going forward. And we'll see you in the next one.